Tyson, I know that doing these vows is my idea, and I thought it was going to be so easy because it's so obvious how much I love you, but I really struggled on where to start. The best thing that kept coming to my mind is that I knew I was going to marry you the moment after our first date ended. Loving you is so easy and feels so natural. It has since day one. Even when you have flawed moments, I cannot stay upset with you because my heart is telling me not to. You make my heart so happy that I have to listen. I have no hesitations that you're going to be an amazing husband because over the last five years you have proven to me that you're the most supportive and fun partner I could ever ask for in life. You are my very best friend. You have been so kind and reassuring to me on some of my hardest days. When I have exciting news, you're always the first person I want to run to to tell. Therefore, it is not to be entered into thoughtlessly or irresponsibly. Ricky, you are my best friend, my soulmate, my lover, my rock, my better half, and my bass fan. Who you are as a person amazes me every day, and it will never stop amazing me. As we've grown together, I knew we'd be standing here facing each other as we are today. I'm incredibly proud of how far we've come as a couple, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us and where we will go. I promise to always put a smile on your face when life gets difficult. I promise to love you forever and always, even when you go on random vacuuming sprees at seven o'clock in the morning. I promise to love you at your worst, just as I love you at your best. I promise to choose you every single day, a million times over. With my whole heart, I love you. Having declared these marriage vows, let Tyson place the ring on the third finger of Ricky's left hand. As the pledge of your love to each other, you have joined your hands to accept one another. Now upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Everyone, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Hollingworth. When thinking of words to describe Ricky, it was impossible to pick just one. Anyone who has ever had just a single conversation with Ricky knows that she is the kindest, she is fearless, dedicated, adventurous, determined, the list goes on and on and on. Tyson is a man of very few words. When we first met, it took two whole weeks for him to say hello to me. Last year, he finally hugged me. And to this day, he is an amazing uncle to my son, and we are extremely grateful to have him. I appreciate you two. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to be a part of your life. I'm, uh, yeah, I love you too. Thank you everyone for coming and celebrating this day. Such an amazing couple, I don't even know where to begin. Slow 
Tyson and Ricky, you are such a perfect fit together. We are so happy for you. I have been asked so many times if I wish I had a daughter, but I wouldn't change a thing. I have loved raising a house full of boys. I knew that someday they would find their soulmates and I would have my daughters then. Today we are officially blessed with our second daughter. Ricky, welcome to our family. Thank you, Tom and Susie, for sharing your daughter with us. She is such a gem. We love her. Tyson, Ricky, over the years, I've seen you both treat each other with kindness, tenderness, and respect. Remember always to keep doing that. I've seen you two standing side by side, supporting one another, sharing your next adventure, though you both have busy lives. You still find time to spend time together, which is very important.